See, the only way you are getting a job in 2024 is by doing something that others are not doing. And this is an unfortunate reality that you have to face in 2024. Back in the days, 2017, 2018, 2019, uh, when people like us, when a lot of creators that you see were in the job market, they did not have to do anything special. They never wrote cold emails. They never had to network. They never had to pretty much use LinkedIn. On-campus hiring was still very strong. A lot of companies showed up. The competition was less. A lot of people did not even make the basic project. So back in the days, if even if you had an e-commerce, even if you had a social media clone, you were able to surpass the 99% of people. But now what is happening in 2024? A lot of people are using AI tools. A lot of people are using ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini. And they can make those basic apps, which people were making back in 2017. So weather app, calculators, normal cricket related stuff, anything that you can think of, anything simple that you can think of can be made with the chat GPT that can be made with AI tools, right? So when we talk about the skill section, when we talk about full stack, when we talk about DevOps cloud and we talk about live links, the basic stuff can be done with AI. People are not at all interested in the basic stuff anymore. And this is something that you have to realize. You can fight with me. You can fight with yourself. You can fight with the recruiters. You can fight with people who are offering you jobs. But eventually, you will have to face the reality. And the reality is you have to do something special. So what are those three, four things that you have to do in 2024 that I'm seeing? So, you know, I'm in the US. I travel uh, in the US, Canada, India. Uh, we have obviously interacted with thousands of students across the last year, you know, in the last year. And uh, they tell us all the new things that are happening. So, you know, you've probably seen uh, multiple uh, LinkedIn posts tagging me or Twitter posts tagging me where people are mentioning that, you know, we got a job offer and uh, we were mentored by him or blah, blah, blah. We took a course or whatever. But the real reason why people are getting hired uh, you know, is that they are building big projects. They are building complicated projects and they are preparing for the interview. So two big things that I tell people, you have to do two big things. You have to make complicated projects. You have to make big projects and you have to prepare for interview. Please don't neglect the second part. You know, this is an important finger. Don't neglect the second part. Interview prep has changed. It is totally new, you know. So many companies are asking JavaScript React based questions. So many people, so many companies are giving take home projects for full stack. So many people, so many companies and people are not asking DSA anymore. A lot of companies have shifted from DSA to full stack. Look at an example of Superbase. Go to Superbase careers and you will see a lot of startups are not asking DSA. I will give you my personal example in 2021. I interviewed with three big startups. Uh, you know, and many smaller ones like Flutterflow, Strava, uh, there was a Viasat, there was there were many companies that I interviewed in 2020 and 2021. People were still asking DSA, you know, startups were also asking DSA, they, they slid in one or two questions, and they were asking a lot of DSA questions. Big companies obviously still ask DSA questions, because that's the only way they are filtering. But a lot of smaller companies, Intel, H, Dell, HP, Intel, HP, Dell, uh, what else comcast uh xfinity uh verizon and you know other companies in the us they all have shifted a lot of people are telling me that they they did not ask dsa questions in those rounds uh you can take an example of paypal maybe you know twitter maybe uh there's a company venmo there's a company braintree i think right braintree Braintree is a company braintree payments they are not asking dsa questions anymore they are giving you take home projects so you have to be updated with the current interview style, whether it is DSA, whether it is full stack, whether it is JavaScript or React, take home projects, big projects, discussion of projects, you have to be updated. So what are two things? You know, there's a Hindi video that I made, so you can go watch it if you know Hindi. Uh, this is like a complete video I made, resume, cold email, networking, kya kya karna and all that stuff. But mainly I want to focus on two things, full stack interview prep and DSA interview prep, right? Once you have the projects, once you have the big projects, unique projects, you've deployed, you have live links, you've gone to hackathons, you've won hackathons, all that stuff, you have a good resume, you will get interviews. And once you get those interviews, you have to prepare well. For DSA, I usually tell people, do 250 questions, do for, cover all 14, 15 patterns, revise properly, focus on uh, the fundamentals, focus on the bigger topics. Don't only focus on arrays, focus on DFS, BFS graphs, 
dynamic programming what is dynamic programming memorization plus backtracking focus on backtracking backtracking is very useful in so many questions right so focus on the bigger sections once you start focusing on graphs let's say you visualize color components graph coloring union set you know how how the search is happening how do you visualize a graph how do you represent it lists of lists and all that stuff it improves your logic building as well right and once you are improving those logic building are solving those logic building questions you will get better in interviews you will get better in feature dev as well dsa is important for becoming a better programming i'm not saying do thousands of questions but solving minimum let's say 200 to 50 questions is definitely a must it will you know give you an edge over other candidates second thing is full stack how do you prepare for full stack solve all the basic javascript questions go to chat gpt go to and use any ai tool list down 200 questions on javascript 200 questions on react 200 questions on full stack databases type of databases sql no sql amazon db dynamo db blah 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 learn about databases learn about everything in javascript you know what is uh, how does search work how does uh, a ui component work uh, server side rendering you know swt all that stuff so you need to pay attention to full stack as well back in the days it was mostly dsa if you if you look at 2017 18 mostly it was dsa or oops right i remember so many electronic companies i interviewed with so many uh, basic companies i interviewed cisco dell intel hp they only asked me oops questions how do you build a simple elevator how do you build uh, you know how do you make a cricket scoreboard let's say you know or just to test my critical thinking just to test if i can make functions uh, classes, functions, interfaces, you know, methods and all those stuff. That is very easy, right? So things have moved on. Now they are asking, how do you, maybe even system design, you know, maybe not for freshers, but yeah. Now they're asking, how do you make a complete, let's say, full stack applications? Tell me, how will you make payments infrastructure? How will you assign tables? How will you build those tables? How will you build those database tables when there's a payment, recurring payments, single payments, uh, let's say, you know five there's an organization payment how do you solve that another example can be how do you make a core scheduler you know make a core scheduler make a whole core schedule so you're testing oops you're testing react you're testing javascript you're also testing other important concepts like async await promises you know how do you call multiple promises how do you uh you know logically solve something like core scheduler how do you maybe let's say make uh, like a flight simulator systems, right? So they will, they can give you an API and be like, okay, build and build a flight simulator system. So these are type of the questions that are coming in those in the current interviews. So please pay attention to full stack DSA. I'm giving you some very important guides in the description. Go check it out. Let me know how it is. And also let me know if you're watching till now. <laughs> this is my first video in English. So let me know the feedback and if I should do more videos in English. I'll see you.